Hello, church family. The reality is God has been merciful. He has been gracious to us. We have come through 365 days of the year 2020. We have been preserved by God. It has definitely been a great year in its own way. Because none of us could have imagined what this past year could have brought. You know, we read about prophecies about the end of time. It is one thing to read about it, but yet another to live through it. So if there's one thing that I think we have learned together this far, it's that even when we don't know what the future holds, we can trust that our God holds the future. It is with this hope that I truly desire even more for God to continue helping us to fulfill our mission, to uplift Christ, to seek to grow, and to grow to serve. You see, when it comes to uplifting Christ, I invite us to have the cross of Jesus at the front and at the center of our lives. Let us meditate on his sacrifice each day. Let us be inspired by the love that shines from this cross. You know, we can choose to lay down our lives for the one who gave his life for us. And as we get close to the end of time, as you have noticed, we are going to have so many conspiracy theories. But don't be distracted. We will never be saved by the conspiracy theories. We are only saved by the sacrifice of Jesus and the cross that he died for us and the heavenly ministry in the sanctuary. So let us press together at the cross of Jesus. Let's forgive one another because this year, we are going to have many opportunities to talk about the heavenly sanctuary and the connection with the end time prophecies. So I want to invite you not to miss out on this brilliant opportunity. As we seek to grow together, I want to invite each one of us to commit to grow in fellowship by committing to be part of a small group. You see, I have observed this past year that being part of small group helps individuals to go through life's challenges much better. There is no perfect group, I can tell you that, but there are meaningful groups that you can be a part of to fellowship together. And if you don't know which group to join, hey, get in touch with our pastoral team or our discipleship ministry leader, and we shall help you become part of one or actually help you form a group. We are also determined, starting this January, to begin a discipleship track with every month, we are going to be focusing on different things, things that are going to help us to grow. So for example, uh, in the month of January, we are going to focus on what it means to become a member. And this is only not only for the new members, but even for those who are not so new to us. In the month of February, we shall focus on how to have a vibrant prayer life. In March, the focus will be how to study the Bible. Other topics will include, you know, how to share our faith with friends, you know, the history of Seventh-day Adventists, how to be a better financial steward, among other things. So sign up so that you can be a part of this discipleship tract for this year. We also pray that God will help us to continue growing in service. It has been a blessing to notice how several members have actually dedicated their gifts in service during the pandemic. For example, the homeless ministry, they increase their service to twice a month. The young adults and the community service team have been out there every Saturday afternoon for a couple of months now to serve the homeless. There are some who serve the homeless every Sunday. During this Christmas uh, time, we had a team of dedicated individuals who decided to do virtual caroling on the back of a truck in different homes in our community. The service to children at the school, at the daycare, the children ministry, the youth is going on. Many of you have stepped up to participate in the weekly teaching lessons to the children and to the adults in different ways that go beyond our church members, just to name but a few. We hope to have another good evangelistic series this year and make more friends for Jesus. Some of you have actually taken on the role of storming the gates of hell through prayer because we are knocking in heaven's door that the gates of hell will be destroyed. And God bless you for that service. See, Jesus is coming soon. 
the bridegroom cometh is the cry that we know let us be ready to meet him so let us give it our best so that for example if this will be our last year to serve we will know we have laid all down for Jesus Christ Maranatha says Paul may God grant you the best of heaven's gift for 2021 and in the famous phrase of the late Dr. Walter Pearson he used to say may God hear you when you call may God lift you if you fall may God bless you as you stand and may God always hold you in the palm of his hand happy new year dear friend may God bless you